Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a T-Script tutorial about key press. Key press means that whenever you press on the keyboard or click on the mouse, something will happen. In this video, I will be making a coin move in a direction depending on which arrow button you press. So, first you need to create a new layer. Next, go to your scripts, create a new script, and since you're dealing with an NPC, you will need to type in with NPC sysval and then pre in another parentheses, param1, and then two parentheses. Um, now I will create an if statement. You, I'll create an if statement using the keys. I will provide a link to all of the numbers that re represent the keys in the description. Here are the numbers that represent the arrow keys. So the next thing you need to type in is if key press then in parentheses, the number of the direction of the coin. So if the coin is going right, the number is negative 11. And then then. And I'm going to leave that blank for now. Then else if he press negative, negative 12. If the coin goes left, it's negative 12. If the coin goes up, it's negative 13, and down is negative 14. So let me just type that in a second. Then, and if then, and with. So, in order to make the coin move, um, you have to use a function called lmove. So, it looks like this. This is the, what the formula looks like. So the formula is uh, call l move. Then in parentheses, in parentheses, it's your layer name. The x speed, comma the y speed, comma, and um and the um, and uh, the type of movement that layer we use, which I'm not going to talk about here, but for a fixed speed, um, it should stay at zero. So, uh, yeah, so there you go, zero. So, now if uh, key press equals negative 11, which is, I believe, the right button, then you want the coin to move to the right. So. Inside of the if statements, you need to type in call l move, then in parentheses. Since uh, you want the coin to move right, you uh, use a 2, uh, which I'm, I'm going to make the speed 2 just for this example. You can make the speed whatever you want. Obviously, the higher the number, the faster it goes, or um, if the number is negative. Um, so... So the, a positive number makes the object move right for the x speed and down for the y speed. A negative number makes the object move left for the x speed and up for the y speed. So the first number here is the x speed and the second number is the y speed. So 
So let me just type in two. How do I'll do move the right? So two zero zero. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Coin. Then two zero zero. All right. That's for the coin moving right. If you want the coin to move left, it is negative two zero zero. Or it it it, it doesn't have to be negative two. It can be any number you want. But um yeah. So then then if you want the number to move up. If you want it to move up, um, hold on a second. If you want it to move up, it would be, you would make this number zero. Unless you want it to go diagonal. If you want it to go diagonal, if you wanted, um, say you want the number to go diagonal. If you want the coin to go diagonal, I mean, you can have two numbers here, uh, that are not equal to zero. But I'm, I'm only making the coin move left to right up down, so you should be... So this is down, so that this would be a positive number. Then call L move coin. Oh, it's coins. Never mind. Never mind. That's why I messed up. Zero. I apologize, guys. I am not doing... My brain is not working right today. So it's coins, zero for up. It's zero, negative two, zero. So now that you got everything typed in, I believe this is all that you need. But there's one more thing you need to do. Go to NPCs. You want to click on NPCs. Find whatever uh, object you want. In this case, I'm going to choose a coin. I'm actually going to choose a Super Mario World coin. Um, and uh, I'm going to scroll all the way down where it says scripts. And then you want to uh, select your script. And you do want to uh, select parallel execution for this. So there you go. It should. Sorry about that. It my i'm using my hard drive to do this my external hard drive but if you go test out the level actually i didn't place the coin yet what is wrong with me today but if you test the level it doesn't move at first so if you press the right key huh I think i didn't do it correctly let me just check a second I feel like I did this correctly. Let me check and see the scripts. Ah, uh, I see. Because I didn't... You need to select the layer before you place the coin, the coin down. You want to select the layer that, it, um, that the script is using. So if you test the level now... It should work. Yep, it works. There you go. I am sorry. I'm not very prepared today. I also didn't write a script for this video, so I'm not good at that. I usually need a script with me to make videos. But there you go. The coin moves, as you can see here. When Whatever um, key you press. It's actually similar to the in Super Mario World, where uh, you... Uh, I think you... Uh, Hit a question block, and then the co uh, the coin, and as it moves, the coin uh, creates more coins in its path. It's actually really cool. I don't know how to, how to script that though. I tried using nCreate, and it it was all messy. It didn't work properly. So if you guys know, definitely comment down below and tell me because um, I am almost done with uh, NPC pack number three that I, of uh, mine and. Uh, I can put that in if, uh, if you guys tell me what the script is. So, if you guys know if that's possible, comment down below. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I'm not really prepared today, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.